welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this episode, we are doing cauliflower themed recipes. I feel like cauliflower is like having a moment. Everyone is turning cauliflower into like the coolest things. We're making nachos with them. We're making wings with them, a whole bunch of really fun things. So I wanted to bring you my four favorite cauliflower recipes from the blog that I make over and over and over again. They are just such reliable recipes and whenever I make them, people love them. So the first recipe that we're gonna be doing is my crispy baked cauliflower buffalo wings. My husband, Mitch, loves chicken wings. It's the one dish that he always says that he really craves. So I made this cauliflower version for him so that he could get his fix and it worked. He absolutely loves this recipe. The second reason why I created this recipe is because I was pregnant at the time I was recipe developing and I was craving a lot of like greasy junk food. So I made these cauliflower buffalo wings to get my fix and again, it worked. It really does provide that really wholesome flavor. It's low carb and then also it's just a healthier option. This recipe also makes a great app. I've served it to a lot of friends and they absolutely love it. We're serving this alongside with a simple vegan ranch. So let's start by chopping our cauliflower into florets. So I'm gonna peel back the cauliflower leaves here so that I can expose the root. There we go. And then basically what I want to do is just get the florets off of this cauliflower. It just kind of pulls it apart but keeps the floret intact. And then I'm going to pull these apart to make them a little bit smaller because they're easier to bite into and also they cook faster. So I'm just going to place this to the side and then we're going to work on our buttermilk. So we've got some almond milk here. I've got a cup and I'm gonna add it to this bowl. Add a splash of apple cider vinegar. And this is actually gonna be our buttermilk. In a bowl, we're gonna add in some all-purpose flour. The paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. And next we're gonna pour in the buttermilk and we're gonna whisk everything until smooth and combined. Ooh, I clearly need to go to the gym more. Now, this is kind of the fun part. We're gonna take our cauliflower florets and I'm gonna dip it in my batter. I like to use a spoon for this and then I'm gonna put it on my baking tray. So I find a spoon to be really helpful. It just is an extra hand getting into all the nooks and crannies. I also have seen other recipes where they actually add all the batter to the bowl and just kind of toss it with their hands. I tried that during my recipe development, but I just found that it didn't get battered enough, which is why I like doing the individual dip. Okay, so these are ready to go in the oven. I actually ended up using two baking trays. My cauliflower was a little big, um, and I wanna make sure that I'm giving ample space so that when it's cooking in the oven, all that air can get in between so that it gets crispy. So let's get these in the oven. While I'm waiting for my cauliflower to bake, I'm going to get my buffalo sauce together. I have a third a cup of buffalo sauce here and some melted coconut oil. And I'm gonna whisk this together. So the reason why I add the coconut oil to the buffalo sauce is because it makes it really nice and silky and it spreads better. So when we add our cooked cauliflower to the sauce, it's just gonna lather nicely. Let's make our ranch dip. It's so easy. I make it all the time instead of buying vegan ranch. And also I like the ingredients, like it's way more wholesome. Okay, so we'll add the coconut yogurt, some apple cider vinegar, dill, onion powder, salt, a pinch of paprika, and a pinch of pepper. Okay, we'll stir this together. And that is my simple vegan ranch. Mm. Yum, this is gonna make such a good dip. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna flip these to bake the other side. They really don't look like much now, but the other side is gonna be really nice and crispy. So another reason why I like lining this recipe with parchment paper is it just makes it a lot easier to lift and flip. If I was to do it on the baking dish without the parchment paper, things just might get like really sticky and you might lose a lot of your batter. Oh, this looks so crispy and delicious. Let's get this in the buffalo sauce. And then let's just get handsy with it. Let's plate this and eat it. 
This recipe can also be made gluten-free by simply substituting the all-purpose flour for gluten-free flour. And it doesn't require any breading, which makes it really quick, and they're just as crispy as they would if they were breaded. Okay, do these not look like real wings to you? I cannot wait to dig in. Let's go. Gotta get some ranch in there too. Oh my God, I can't wait, I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's so good. I feel like I'm at Wild Wings eating wings. Like this is why I don't miss chicken wings anymore because of this recipe right here. This is so good. Mm, mm, crispy, amazing. So next is my cauliflower chickpea curry. This is a really great main dish meal that you can make for dinner throughout the week. It's really quick. The recipe is using a few veg. We've got cauliflower, of course, and then we've also got carrots and zucchini. And then we throw in some chickpeas in a really nice curry sauce with coconut milk. And then I always like to serve it on rice, but you can do it with quinoa as well. We're gonna start by chopping our cauliflower. So I'm gonna put these on my baking sheet. And then we're gonna chop up our zucchini. Just cutting this lengthwise down the middle. And I'm gonna make little slices. And we're also gonna put this on a baking tray. I'm gonna drizzle this with some avocado oil. I'm using avocado oil because it's a neutral oil, but you could also use olive oil. And now I'm gonna give this a toss. Okay. Let's spread this out and we'll get this in the oven. I actually hate the smell of raw cauliflower. I never understand when you buy like the pre-cut vegetables and they put raw cauliflower, like who's eating that? I'm gonna grate up my carrot. I probably use my cheese grater the most for grating carrots. <laughs> it's rarely used to grate cheese. And I'm also gonna chop up my onion. Someone told me that if I take a wet tea towel and I put it beside my onion when I cut it, that it won't make me cry. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put it right here. Let's see if it works. So far, so good. Okay, I feel like this is working. I might like just cry tears of joy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not crying yet. This is crazy. That's wild. I can't believe I'm not crying right now. So I've got a big deep skillet here. We're gonna start by drizzling with some avocado oil and then we can throw in the onions, the carrot and salt. And then basically we're gonna cook this until softened. Okay, so this is looking nice and soft now. So next up, I'm gonna be adding my spices. I have some turmeric, curry powder, cumin, and cinnamon. And then we're also gonna grate up some ginger to go in here. I want about a teaspoonful. Yeah. So next time we're gonna pour in my coconut milk. I just love the color of Indian spices. They're just so pretty. chickpeas in and now we stir it all together and it's done but if you do want it a little more saucy you can always throw in a splash of vegetable broth to kind of thin it out a bit or if you wanted to kind of up the coconut milk you could do that too this looks amazing i cannot wait to dig in you can serve this with rice or quinoa or you can leave it as is and have some naan bread it's entirely up to you okay let's get this in a bowl I'm actually gonna serve this up with some rice. I really like to top it with some fresh cilantro. This curry is well spiced, but it's not spicy. And I did that intentionally because then it's like a family favorite. You can feed it to kids. I also find any skeptics when it comes to curries also don't really like a lot of spice, which is why I haven't added it. You can sprinkle with some chili flakes if you want, if you wanna add that heat. I've just got some basmati rice here. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm gonna go with some cilantro. Just give me all the cilantro. I feel like you either love it or hate it. Let me know in the comments below if you're a cilantro lover or hater. And I'm gonna add some chili flakes because I want a little bit of heat. I am dying to give this a bite. I'm getting a big spoon for this. 
Mm, so flavorful, so comforting. Love the vibrant colors here. The vegetables are so nice and soft and tender. So well spiced, but not spicy. This is definitely gonna be a family favorite. Mm. Mm. This is mine. Okay, so next up is my cauliflower nachos. This recipe is cheesy, it's gluten-free, vegan, and loaded with nacho flavor. We're actually replacing normal tortilla chips with, you guessed it, cauliflower. All around, this is a really comforting dish. It's low carb because we're using cauliflower instead of tortilla chips, and Everyone just really loves it, so I definitely think it's worth giving a try. So let's get these stems off the cauliflower again, and then I'm really quickly going to get this cauliflower into florets. Now this is a really big piece, so I'm actually gonna chop this in half. We're looking for them to be about half an inch thick. Nothing needs to be exact, just think that you want them to be like bite-sized. Don't try separating it on this end because you can't really see what's happening. Try and find the biggest root, so then when it breaks apart, it's not as messy. Next, we're gonna chop up some red onion. I have my trusty wet rag, although I haven't tried it on red onion, so I feel like this is another good test. We don't want too much here, but I find a quarter cup is pretty good. I am chopping here, and there are no tears, although they are coming a little bit. So not as good on the red onion. <laughs> Maybe it's a white onion trick, I don't know. <laughs> Had I not had the rag, I think there would be more tears than this, so I still feel like this is a win. Okay, next up, we want a half a cup of finely chopped tomatoes. I picked the baby grape tomatoes because they're just so cute, but you can use normal tomato for sure. So I'm just gonna finely chop these as well. And finally, our jalapeno. The spice is actually in the seed. So if you don't like things too spicy, you can leave some of these really seedy ones out and that'll stop it from killing you if you don't like too much spice. Okay, so now we're gonna season our cauliflower nachos before we get them in the oven. We're gonna start with some avocado oil, the nutritional yeast, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and sea salt. And we're gonna mix this to combine. Things are looking a tad dry, so I am just gonna give it a little drizzle with some oil. And this is also gonna help when it's roasting in the oven to get nice and crispy. It's like they're kind of glistening. That's kind of how you know if they're well oiled. Okay, let's get this in the oven. So while I'm waiting for my cauliflower to cook, I'm just gonna grate up some vegan mozzarella. We want about a cup. This is nice and crispy. What I wanna do now is I wanna kind of bunch everything together so it's in a nice cluster in the middle before I add my toppings. Okay, so we're gonna start by sprinkling with some black beans, some tomatoes, red onion, and jalapeno. This is so colorful and fun. We get to finish with the best one of all, the vegan matzo. I'm gonna get these back in the oven. Pretty much just melt the mozzarella because everything's cooked. Whoa. <laughs> Jalapeno on my fingers, in my mouth. Everything's very spicy right now. Whew. I just wanna melt this <clears throat> mozzarella and then we can dig in. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> okay, this looks so good. So I'm just gonna slide this underneath. I'm gonna cut around this parchment paper so that it just kind of fits nicer. Finally, I like to sprinkle with some fresh cilantro. Can't have nachos without cilantro. Who does that? And then tuck in a couple jalapenos because I think it looks pretty. Now we get to dig in. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? This is so, so good for something like Game day, this would be really good. People are gonna love this. Oh, so spicy. I've only got jalapeno there. 
So the last recipe is for my vegan cauliflower mac and cheese. You guys are not gonna believe how quickly this recipe comes together. It literally takes like 20 minutes. We're gonna be using two heads of cauliflower. Where's my cauliflower? Cauliflower! Not two heads, two cups of cauliflower for this recipe. And then adding in some cashews, that's gonna give us a really nice cheesy sauce, which is gonna act as our mac and cheese sauce. The recipe traditionally uses macaroni noodles. I bought, what are these even called, capoletti? I don't know, I just thought that they look cute at the grocery store. So feel free to switch up to noodles that you think are cute too. It has cauliflower in it and we're sneaking in cauliflower. So if you have little ones that don't like to eat their vegetables, this is a great way to sneak in veggies and they'll never know. But all in all, very easy, family-friendly recipe. Comes together in 20 minutes and it's just so comforting, cheesy, and perfect for a vegan mac and cheese. So let's get making this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna start by chopping a shallot, trying this method again with the wet rag. Shallots do really make me cry. If anyone has seen my mushroom bourguignon, I literally put goggles on to chop shallots. So we'll see if this works. I'm not crying, amazing. So shallots, okay, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> this isn't working. So we're gonna head over to my stove top. We're gonna start by adding the coconut oil. We're gonna melt this. We'll throw in the shallots and the garlic. So next I'm gonna pour in the almond milk, nutritional yeast, some Dijon, miso, salt, a pinch of turmeric, which is really just for color. And then we'll bring this up to a high heat. We're gonna let this come to a simmer and then we're gonna add the cauliflower and the cashews. And I chop my cauliflower really small so that it softens quicker. Mix that together. Yum, yum, yum. And now I'm just gonna let this simmer for like 15 minutes until that cauliflower is real soft. Okay, this is looking real good. I think that we can blend this up. I'm gonna salt this water. I wanna put on my noodles, give that a stir. Let's get this lid on and capushi capushi. So we are gonna get this in a blender to make it really nice and smooth. So this is looking a little thick, so I'm gonna add a splash of almond milk to thin it. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my God, that looks so cheesy and good. So cheesy, it looks so much like mac and cheese, like, oh my God. So I like to do a direct transfer, then I'm not like dirtying a strainer. So I'm just gonna take the nudes and then I'm gonna mix it all together. Another good thing about doing it this way is that I'm reserving the pasta water. So if my sauce is seeming too thick, I can use my pasta water to thin it. Okay, this is actually hurting my arms. <laughs> I think I need to go to the gym more. <laughs> Let's stir this baby together. Oh my God, are you kidding me with this? So good. I'm actually gonna add a splash of my pasta water because this is gonna thicken as it cools a little. So creamy, so luscious. So gooey, so yum. Oh my God, oh, this looks so good. Okay, let's take a bite. I can't wait. So good. Mmm, oh my God. Literally you'd never know it's vegan and literally you'd never know cauliflower was in it. This is unbelievable. Mmm, I'm dying over this. So there we have it, my cauliflower episode. These are so good, I could honestly cry. I couldn't even say which one is my favorite. I love these cauliflower buffalo wings. If you're looking for one of those entertaining apps, perfect for something like game night. This sneaky cauliflower mac and cheese, so perfect if you have kids and so simple. You can totally make this on a weeknight. My cauliflower curry, I probably make this the most. I just love how wholesome and healthy it is. Loaded with vegetables, so good. And another really great one for game night is definitely the cauliflower nacho. All around, 
just amazing. Let me know which one is your favorite if you try them in the comments below. Give it a like and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more recipes. I had so much fun doing this. I think I'm gonna have to bring another veggie focused episode. See you next time.